thousand know my head is disrespect. The floor for the Hokies. The shot, little short. The putback with two seconds to go is good for the lead. The Musketeers back the other way for the win. He got it. He got it. He's got it. He got it. Oh! The Musketeers go on to the championship game on Sunday. One dribble. There's another look. Yep. And no question, he released it before triple zeros. The officials still have because the heave is going to come from probably half court. Wise move, missed the free throw. Now the three. He oh, got it. He got it. He, he got it. it. He got it, and the Florida Gators have won the game. Chandler Parsons, what a shot! Parsons, look at this. Watch where he lets this go. Oh my goodness gracious! What is that? 60 feet, and nothing but net. I mean, it went straight in, just outside the opposition's three-point line. Tell him to get yeah, back. he's telling he's telling Williams to get back. Second one high arcing and missed it. Jenkins gets it, lets it fly. Long shot. Is oh! Oh! He made it! Oh, he made it! A 75-footer! Oh! They're gonna go to the monitor. Three-pointer! They're gonna go to the monitor. <laughs> Let's see. It well, was close. Like it. <laughs> it was close. They're going to go to the monitor. That was good. That was good. Hamilton. Here we go. 3.3 seconds to go. They get it into uh, Gene. Gets it back. Fires a midcourt shot. There's the horn, and it's in. Wow. He hit the shot from midcourt at the right sideline, and the Henderson Center crowd is in stunned silence. No doubt it was airborne before the horn, and the Bulldogs are going to get the win. Absolutely. They have gotten the win. No yep. bang, Not nothing. Bulldogs 97, Marshall 94, a heartbreaker for the herd. What a game here in the Henderson Center. And now Marshall still has work to do. And electing not to put anyone on the ball defensively, which will allow Lighty to throw a more precise pass the length of the court. They're going to go right to Turner. Turner at midcourt, inside it, at the buzzer. Got it! Are you kidding me, Dave O'Brien? They will go to the monitor to take a look. Evan Turner the at the field and three rebounds. He is a tremendous free throw shooter, knocks them both down. That's going to give Northern Colorado a 71-69 advantage. 2.4 seconds to go. Mahoney gets it into Bamforth. If he makes it, it is good. What a finish, and I think they may be coming over to take a look at it one more time. You know, Jay, it's pretty interesting. Today in the shoot-around, I was watching these guys from Weaver State. Haas, guarded by Holt. Tyler Haas! 2.5 on the clock. Della Vadova for the win! Gales win it! The officials are sending them back to the other side on the floor. For one foot on one end, and then the beautiful outlet. He gets a running start at it. Gets it off in plenty of time, .9 on the clock. No doubt that it's good. Matthew Della Vadova was left off the wooden watch list. He's a top 25 player in the country, maybe a first-team All-American. Barry has it. Barry wants to get a three-pointer. Four seconds to go. Barry bombs up a three from deep. It's good. Oh, my goodness. He knocks down a deep three with .7 to go. The Hornets foul. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Hornets. They're storming the floor. The Hornets bombed one in the full length of the floor. Oh, my.
my goodness, they're piled up. Trojans out of timeouts. It's McLaughlin, stop and start. To the rim, lays it in. What a finish. Davis at the horn. Wins it. Freshman out of Seattle Garfield High School with his first signature moment. The game winning half court heave to take down. Let Pritchard do his thing. Make a play at the top for a two or a three. Peyton Pritchard ties it up. 3.1 in the hands of Lexus Williams from midcourts. He hit it! And the nation's longest winning streak could be snapped by a half-court buzzer beater. Loyola, Maryland, do they have time to go for a quick two? They will not. Walker, top of the key, three to tie it. He does. 2.9 left. Tied at 90. Here comes Tillotson. Two seconds left. A half-court. And it's good! The senior on senior day! Knocks down the half-court shot. The refs will check it to see if Tillotson Got it in before the horn sounded. Tillotson from half court. Taylor attacks, floats. Even at 72, 2.7 left. Last chance for the Panthers. And he said he wouldn't take a timeout in this situation. Jesperson, half court heave for the ball. Jesperson does it. The officials routinely check the monitor as they are now. No question about that. Anthony Jordan takes one look. Here. What a finish. <laughs> Unbelievable. How fun was that? What a magical season Trevor Relliford has had. And what a way to end regular season. Nothing but the bottom of the twine. For that young lady. Yeah, and, and the thing to remember here is the extra time you have to actually launch a shot provided the pass is completed. And you can't commit a foul because that'll put Duke on the line. Dockery at the buzzer. Just a great play. The first thing is an excellent pass. Dockery's able to catch it, get turned, take that one dribble, and shoot the ball. Perfect execution by the Duke Blue Devils. And it's then no good. Golder the rebound, and he's going to get it off for half court. And he scores! And got the win! Marcus Golder for half court. You gotta be bleeping me! And the Crusaders <laughs> have won the game. And, and uh, Saturday afternoon at four o'clock, I have Washington and Arizona, and, and Washington's going to come limping into Tucson. There's a length to look out. He's got a shot. Come on! Six points, and they win it by one. Over.
overtime. Blue Devils down three. Final seconds. Kenny Horton ties it up at 73. So, last chance for the Bobcats. 2.5 on the clock. Inbounding under their own basket. Here it is. From half court. Yes! Yes! Seventy-six, seventy-three. Quinnipiac over Central Connecticut. Ennis, two seconds. He'll get a shot off on the way. Got it. He hit it. He hit the shot. Syracuse wins it. Syracuse at the buzzer. Now they are going to have to go by rule and look at it. It certainly looked like he got it off to us. Fifty-eight, fifty-six. Tyler Ennis. Goodness gracious. And this is why Jim Beheim continues to go to this guy over the stretch. He's the guy most capable of advancing. And he knows he's watching the clock the whole way up. He knows he's got about three dribbles and money for the wow. freshman. Goodness gracious. On the money. Give Arkansas any kind of good shot at it. They're going to let Arkansas inbound the ball. Reed now, four seconds, three seconds. Reed trying to dribble, two seconds, five seconds, long shot. Got it! Chattanooga needs a three to tie with six and a half seconds to go. Johnson has it. Johnson for three and the tie straight away. Wow. Shot is good. And it is a tie ball game at 72-72. Parks from three quarters court for the win. Oh! The rebound, Agnew comes away with it. He has to hurry, flings it up from half court. The buzzer beater, North Alabama hits it. Johnny McCants at midcourt for the win. He got it!